Once again, welcome to another exciting episode of Complete Sports Update. The show that brings you up to date with events in the world of sports. And with me is Ben Ido. Good afternoon. So I'm going today. Presidency moves to pay cash. Sports Minister reveals that Presidency are making available the funds to pay Stephen Keshi's arrears. Um, Mr. Ben, what do you say about it? Uh, the issue of uh, Stephen Keshi salary is something that should worry any uh, patriotic Nigerian because Keshi is a coach that has done a lot for Nigeria. And to hear that somebody is owing that type of a man is something that we should all be ashamed of. I'm sure that now that the president has waited in, they should make every effort to ensure that before the issue of Chan that they will start in January, will begin, every couple that they hold that money should be paid. I think that's the way to redeem the image of the country. Okay. Eagles drop to 36th in FIFA rankings. Maintains the my first spot in Africa. What do you want to say about it? Uh, the issue of uh, FIFA ranking has been something that has been attracting a lot of controversy. I don't know the yardstick that FIFA is still using to rank teams. But if you want to consider what we have been seeing over time, many of the things that we have been seeing are controversial. I don't know why a team like Algeria should be ahead of Nigeria in FIFA ranking in Africa. But come to think of it, I don't think that thing has to do with it what teams are doing. It is only people that can determine which team are in what position and which team are in what, pos in what position. I'm sure with time, Eagles will rank, will rank, rank higher. Rank higher. Eagles scare Brazil. Brazilian journalists reveal, reveals feelings on the streets of Brazil. Brazil football fans do not want bringing African champions, the Super Eagles of Nigeria, in the same group as Samba Boys. What do you have to say about it? Eagles is now a team for fear. Anywhere, if you want to consider what they have been doing in the same times, and for a Brazilian journalist to come out and say they are dread, Igu is a dreaded team now, I think is something that uh, we should be proud of as Nigerians. But I don't want us to be carried away by it. it should be, should, Igu should just take their time, prepare well for Brazil, and make sure that every team that comes their way, they beat them and they go far in the tournament. But whether any team, whether people are afraid of them or not afraid of them, is independent of what they do at the tournament okay. proper. Yeah. Okay. There are two referrals, Mikel and Moses. Ivorian and Man City midfielder, named UBC Africa footballer of the year. Um, yeah, two has, has been. Let me start from Mikel and Moses. They've, they've been. Um, what should I say? They were put forward as the most suitable for the award. Even most of our revered. Um, footballers, former international, uh, you know, have called for Mikel and Moses to be given the award, but we can see that it has moved to. You know, when, when that list of nominees came out, I personally am not all that comfortable about the fact that Mikel can win it. Can win it. You see, there are a lot of qualities that are involved. In making the choice of who is the, uh, this uh, African footballer or something or, the, or African player of the year, and if you take maybe the past one year, mm -hmm. you want to consider what Mikel is doing mm -hmm. and what Yatoro is doing, you will know that an average fan or a, a technocrat mm -hmm. will give it to Toure. You know, a football fan like explosive player, mm -hmm. player that creates, player that score. That is the type of player that Yatoro is. But for Mike, he's doing it very well. But the role that he's playing for KC is not a kind of role that is well appreciated. Mm -hmm. So if you see that type of team coming to Yatui, you have to consider what he's doing for the national team and for his team, Man City. Mm. Obabona, Godfrey Obabona, Nigerian defender, turns from hero to zero. Eagles defender scores own goal in Rice's ball 2 1 defeat as Kanya at Turk Turk. What do you have to say about this? Yes. Obabona, I think it's, this is the first, this is his first season in Europe. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to consider where he's coming from, I want to say he's a player that has done a lot for himself. And the fact that he scored an own goal is something that can happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. Any defender that is playing regularly, you must know that at one point he will make a mistake. And I'm sure that was what happened over the weekend with uh, Obabana. I just pray that he will put that thing behind him 
and maybe in the subsequent game he will just why why they, they, they purchase him in the first place. This rounds up another exciting episode of Complete Sports Update. Okay. Take for the week. Predict which teams will be drawn with the Super Eagles of Nigeria at the FIFA 2014 World Cup. Draws. Thank you. Okay, we have Complete Sports here. Sports here is a daily publication. Ask your vendor today. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.